It's supposed to be hot in July, but this is ridiculous. 11 straight days with temperatures topping 90 in Washington. Today, a record 101. Stir in the humidity, it felt at least 10 degrees hotter. Just to stay cool, I actually slept in my car with the car running for about four hours now. Extreme heat scorched a path from Kansas City through southern Illinois and Tennessee to the Carolinas, where Raleigh registered its 49th day of readings above 90. Today actually felt like 115. In downtown Raleigh, emergency workers assisted concert goers overcome by the heat. I dumped water on my back and I'm very much cooler. This is about as extreme as you can get. Some all time record highs could be broken and the humidity is up very, very high. It hit 97 in New York, tying a record and plenty uncomfortable for this road crew. Oh, we have to work. The job has to get done. Diego Martinez said much the same about his running. No matter the weather, he clocks a lap of nearly four miles every other day. Depending how I, how I feel when I get to the end, I'll probably go another second lap, which is another three and a half miles. You'll do a second lap? Yeah. You're nuts. You know that, Diego? <laughs> Some onlookers felt the same way about these triathletes crossing the finish line in Mercer County, New Jersey. The waves at Coney Island offered relief to Brooklyn beachgoers, and in Philadelphia, those who couldn't get to the beach found cooling nonetheless. An impromptu shower was this nine-year-old midfielder's prescription for relief. Chasing a soccer ball was tough duty on this day. You sweat a lot and it's like hard to run around because it's like once you start running, you want to walk again. I know just how she feels. Temperatures this extreme, of course, can be very dangerous and may have caused the death of one man in Prince George's County, Maryland, today. Paramedics found the young man unconscious on a bike path. Cause of death officially not established, but they believe it was heat-related. Jeff? All right, Tony got it in Central Park tonight. Tony, thank you.